This is no chance meeting, is it, Gandalf? No, it is not. The Arkenstone lies half a world away, buried beneath the feet of a fire-breathing dragon. Which is why we're going to need a burglar. I'm going on an adventure! From the hills of the Shire. Hi guys, it's CNN Online, and we're here today to review the latest LEGO game to hit the shelves, LEGO The Hobbit, which has come out on 3DS, PlayStation 3 and 4, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. So it's known we're reviewing the game on the PlayStation 4 copy. So let us talk about the campaign first. The story follows that of the latest The Hobbit films, which have been at the cinemas recently, The Hobbit An Unexpected Journey and The Hobbit Desolation of Smog. Don't worry, we won't spoil the story, but The Hobbit revolves around Bilbo Baggins, who is dragged into a quest to claim back the Dwarf Kingdom, Erebor, from the fearsome dragon Smog. The journey is long and perilous, and will the dwarves and Bilbo claim back the Dwarf Kingdom, or will their journey not be successful? The gameplay is pretty similar to that of any of the other LEGO games, so if you play one of them, you'll probably know what to be expected. Though LEGO The Hobbit does have several improvements and new features which made it stand out from previous LEGO games. So starting from the beginning, each level consists of you getting from point A to B, using each character's special abilities to aid you through some of the many puzzles which are littered around each level. All of your favourite The Hobbit characters are in the game, with the majority of characters being voiced by their actor from the films. There are various different abilities that characters have, for example, small characters can go through small holes, some characters can break walls or stones, and some characters can double jump, etc. The list just goes on and on. You will have to use the several characters you're given to solve puzzles and progress through the game. Brilliantly, the game has great replayability, as you can not complete all the puzzles the first time round, as you won't have certain characters with specific skills. You're encouraged to come back and explore the other areas to get mini kits, which are the collectibles in the game, and more bricks. The game can be played on single or multiplayer locally, with two players. Multiplayer is drop in and drop out, meaning that your mate can join you midway through a game without interrupting the gameplay whatsoever. During the story mode, you're given a specific number of characters, ranging from two, anywhere up to about seven or eight. To change characters, you simply hit the triangle button on the PlayStation 4 or 3 copy, or hold triangle to bring up a character selection dial on the screen. So, we mentioned new gameplay mechanics earlier, and the big one is mining in this game. Throughout the levels and open world, more on this later, you'll find different materials and resources which you'll be able to collect. You can also mine certain rocks and stones with specific characters, also to get some rare resources which simply involves using Square on the Sony consoles to start mining. Resources and materials come into play at certain build areas throughout the game, where you use your resources to build objects to allow you to progress. It's a great little minigame-esque mode where the game will have a shadow of a LEGO piece, and you have to select the right piece. If you do it in time, you get a stuff bonus. If not, then you move on to choosing another LEGO piece. You build things from catapults to ladders, and it opens up more areas throughout Free Roam and allows you to progress throughout the story levels. So, Free Roam, or Open World, has been mentioned several times here, though we haven't actually gone too deeply into detail. Since LEGO Batman 2 DC Universe, the LEGO games have incorporated Free Roam, a massive open world where you can go to mission at start points and explore and walk around it. LEGO The Hobbit brings this back, allowing you to explore the Shire in its LEGO goodness. Around the Shire, you're able to purchase new characters, build mini kit pieces, and collect resources, and much, much more. It's really fun to explore the Shire, and you'll probably find yourself spending a lot of time trying to find every nook and cranny and see what there is to explore. The LEGO games have been highly cinematic as of late, and once again, LEGO The Hobbit keeps to this. Cutscenes within the game are stunning, with the LEGO pieces looking very highly detailed and realistic. The inclusion of the majority of the actors coming back to voice their respective characters makes the game that little more engaging, as if you're a fan of the films, the characters are easily recognisable. LEGO The Hobbit has gone that step further to be cinematic by having narration throughout some of the gameplay at times, which helps to make the world come to life. LEGO The Hobbit's soundtrack is also absolutely superb, and the music is all that from the recent films. The soundtrack's heroic themes alongside some of its landscape or orchestral pieces give you goosebumps, which is excellent in itself. So let us take a look at the positives and negatives. Positives, mining and resource system is brilliant. The majority of original actors have returned. Soundtrack is excellent and it comes from the film. Graphically and visually excellent and keeps to that of what we know of the LEGO game. Let's move on to the negatives. Whilst we did say the LEGO game similarity is a good thing, it is a little too similar to every other LEGO game. And if you're getting a bit bored of it, you may find this a downside. Though, if you're a fan of LEGO games, this is not an issue whatsoever. In short, LEGO The Hobbit is a brilliant game, which you'll find a lot of comedic value in, along with an excellent story, original actors, and a great soundtrack all in the mix. LEGO games have improved drastically over the last few years, and LEGO The Hobbit, while being very similar to other LEGO games, is nicely polished and really does look the best LEGO has ever been. If you're a fan of the LEGO games, you'll enjoy this game to pieces, and if you're a fan of The Hobbit, you'll find a lot of comedic value to this game from enjoying the films. If you've never picked up a LEGO game before, definitely pick up LEGO The Hobbit. It's fun for the whole family and really shows how games can be accessible for all ages. In short, LEGO The Hobbit gets a CNDN score of 4 out of 5. 
So this is CN Online signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to comment. We love talking to you guys. Ciao. Hold your breath. I do believe the worst is behind us.